Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, Your Wicked Chef. Today we're doing something for the vegetarians. As you all know, for the entire month of November, we've been playing around with recipes, party food or food that you serve during the holiday season here. And this one here, I remember as a kid growing up on the islands, around Diwali time, which is the Indian Festival of Lights, the Hindu Festival of Lights, we would always have these, well, not, my, not in our home, but when we were invited to our friends' homes. And what I have here is some eggplant all sliced up, a wonderful batter, and that can only mean one thing, baigani. Um <clears throat> Some vegetable oil, and I've got my drain, my sort of uh, draining station here, so I have my old whole setup. We have some paper towels sitting there. So these bad boys, I'm gonna go over there, then there, then over here. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen. Today we, we're doing Baigani, and that's the only name I know this as. Um, pretty much it's eggplant with a wonderful spiced up batter, and we're going to deep fry, well, pan fry them, and drain them and serve them with a mango chutney or a tamarind chutney. Those two chutneys that I just mentioned can be found at CaribbeanPod.com. So let's get cracking on this wicked vegetarian something. Let's take a look at the ingredients we'll be using today. Up front, that little spice, little note that we're gonna need. And I've got here a quarter teaspoon of curry powder and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, turmeric, which we also call sofran uh, down in the Caribbean. All-purpose flour, half a cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna need some fresh ground black pepper, maybe about a quarter teaspoon or so of that. Back here, I've got one cup of um, flour, but it's not just ordinary flour, it's split peas flour or split peas powder. One cup of that. Um, you can check your ethnic grocery store, you're sure to find it there. West Indian grocery store, Hispanic grocery store, or um, East Indian grocery store, they usually carry these, and you're looking for split peas flour. Up front here, I've got salt, but I've got it divided. Uh, to the back here, I've got quarter teaspoon of salt, which is going to go into the batter, and up front here, one teaspoon of salt, which we're going to use to prep the eggplant before we actually put this together. One clove of garlic crushed. Caribbean sunshine, guys, you go, you don't have to include this. I've got here half of a scotch bonnet pepper that um, I crushed because we want it to be, um, it's going to go into the batter, so we need it to be crushed to really blend into everything. A teaspoon of baking powder. You'll additionally need, for making the batter, we're gonna need some water as we go along making that batter. I'll tell you exactly how much water we'll use. And the star of the show, eggplant. I've got two small eggplants here, probably about a pound to a pound and a half. This recipe will work for up to two pounds of eggplant. And a couple things I wanted to show you guys here as far as this eggplant goes. I like the nice smaller version. Um, because we're going to be slicing these into into slices, obviously. <laughs> and um, I don't want them overly big. The other thing about these ones here, as you can see when shopping for them, you want a nice green stem. Um, you want them firm, um, not hard, but firm. You want it to feel almost airy on the inside and sort of light and not dense. Once you start going with a dense, heavy eggplant, you're going to get ones with those... Uh, mature seeds on the inside when we slice them open and we don't want that. We want a nice tender um, eggplant once we cut them through. And I know my peeps down in Trinidad and Tobago are saying, Chris, you're saying eggplant, eggplant, call it thing, bygone the man. Well, here we go, bygone. So I've got two of these guys here. So remember when you're shopping for it, no sort of blemishes or anything. Beautiful sheen on it. And I've got two of them here. So that's about it. We'll also need some vegetable oil for frying these. So anywhere from two to two and a half cups of vegetable oil and you're good to go. The next step is to trim and slice these eggplants. It's very important that you wash them at this point, dry them, because after we slice them, it's not recommended to wash it. And all I did was I cut off the stem here to trim it back. And all we're gonna do basically almost had a bit of an accident there but all we're gonna do is to slice these up into about a quarter inch or so I'm just gonna cut off the the bottom part and discard that but about quarter of an inch 
And you notice what I was talking about when I said to get a, a sort of a flow or a light in weight um, eggplant. Notice all the seeds. You can hardly even see the seeds. That's because they haven't fully developed yet. And that's what you get when you buy one of those flow feeling um, eggplant. And all I'm going to do is continue slicing these. And after we've sliced these, what we want to do, eggplant is notorious for having a sort of a bitter aftertaste. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these on a paper on paper towels, on a cookie sheet or something, and that one teaspoon of salt, we're going to sprinkle it all over it, and that's going to draw out a lot of the moisture and a lot of that bitter aftertaste from the eggplant. I've got my cookie sheet here lined with that paper towel as you can see they're all spread out in nice beautiful slices of the eggplant. So what we're going to do now is to sprinkle it each piece with some of that salt, that one teaspoon of salt that I, um, we reserve for, for this purpose. And after that, after you sprinkle them with that salt, sort of pat them down because you want the salt to stick on it then flip it over and do the same thing again after we've salted these and we allow them on the paper towel here the paper towel is soaked as you can probably see um, it's been on here for one hour after one hour I have here a kitchen cloth and all I'm gonna do you can, you can certainly use paper towels as well I just want to go ahead and damp not damp but uh, soak up all of that extra liquid off the and it's important that you press on it to really get all that liquid all that moisture off the eggplant and you can already see it start oh boy I might be in trouble staining this oh boy <sighs> anyways <laughs> I'll deal with that later just want to soak up all of that liquid off there because these got to be dry as much as you can so that when we make that batter, the batter will be able to cling onto this and hold onto it. If it's wet, you won't be able to, to get that nice batter on there. It's now time to make the batter we'll be using to coat the eggplant slices before frying. So in goes the all-purpose flour, that split peas flour. A good dose of fresh ground black pepper. Quarter teaspoon of salt. The turmeric as well as the curry powder and the baking powder. And using my whisk, I'm just going to whisk all these dry ingredients to sort of blend them as best as I can before the sort of wet ingredients go in here. Seems to be nice and blended now. I'm wearing some of that flour. In goes the crushed garlic. Mr. Caribbean's Cotch Bonnet Pepper. Just gonna give that a quick whisk again. And here's where we're gonna start adding water. And I'm gonna start off with half a cup of water that's three quarter cups of water now I've added in there and we're just gonna work this the whole idea is to get a nice thick batter going a bit more water so now I have a full cup of water in there If you've ever made pilori, the scent that's coming out of this bowl right now is pretty similar to the scent of the batter for making pilori because we're using pretty much the same ingredients. You really want to incorporate this well. It's still a little bit thick. Now remember I said I already put one cup of water. I'm just going to put a further quarter cup of water in there. So in total, one and a quarter cup of water so far. I want to get this nice and incorporated. So as you can see, it's still a little bit thick. An additional tablespoon of water. 
we've got a perfect batter at this point here. In total, one and a quarter cups of water plus one tablespoon. All we're gonna do now, we're gonna set up our frying station. So we're gonna have to heat some vegetable oil. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna take the slices of eggplant, dip it in here, coat it, and then put it into the hot oil for it to cook. My oil is nice and hot here, medium high flame. And all we're gonna do, and remember, if needs be, you really want these dry, so give it a second drying on that uh, towel. And then all you would do is dip it into the batter, fully coat them. And you want to do about three or four at a time so you don't overcrowd the pan. And that's all it's doing. It's going to go into that hot oil there. Do a couple more and show you. Just shake off the excess batter. And you want to cook it for about a minute, a minute and a half on each side. It will float once it's fully cooked, but the whole idea is to get it a nice golden brown color on the outside to make it very appealing. Because I mean to say we eat with our eyes first, right? I've already had these going for about a minute on each side already. I just want to develop a little bit more color, so I'm just going to give it a half a minute on each side. So in total, one and a half minutes on each side. In total, but remember, we flip them halfway through just to develop that nice golden color. Then we're just going to fish them out and place them in the wire basket that I have there lined with paper towels to drain off. And I've already got that nice color on that side there. As you can see, the beautiful golden brown color that we're getting. These are going to be delicious. All I'm doing now is taking these out. I've got my wire basket here and I'm just going to put them on there to drain off that extra oil and if you want while these are still warm and this step here is not traditional while these are still warm here you can certainly top them with a little bit of sea salt it's gonna add a nice little dimension to this but it's not traditional but it's a good way to brighten it up a little bit as far as the taste bud goes so I'm gonna continue frying these guys up this is the last batch here just gonna fish these guys out Look how nice and golden these ones are. Just gotta shake. And remember that dipping sauce is very important to serve these warm. Let's, let's turn the heat off here. Take these out of the fryer, serve these bad boys up warm, and you want to get like a nice spicy dipping sauce like that tamarind or a mango chutney. Check out CaribbeanPod.com and you're gonna love this recipe. Vegetarian friends are gonna be thanking you for preparing this during the holiday season. Serve it warm, some sort of spicy dipping sauce, and you're good to go. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, guys. You're absolutely going to love this. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen as usual, and make it a great day.